We say by davening, Hashivaini ovini le soirusecho, le corvaini malkaini la avoidosecho. Hashivaini, to return, ovini our father, le soirusecho to your toya. Le corvaini, bring us close, malkaini our king, la avoidosecho, to serve you, to your service. Why is the shinui haloshan? But there is a change of language here. Calling Avinu, Vini, when it comes to the Soiro Sejo, and Malkaini, Malkainu, when it comes to the Avoido Sejo. The ultimate goal that we need in a relationship with Rebbein Shaloylam is with Avinu, our father. Klal Yisrael was Mechavel the Torah HaKedoshua, with the understanding of a relationship, just like a father with his children. The Ahava, Bunim Atim Hashem Lokeichem. There is two different relationships between a father and son, and a king and his servants. So when it comes to returning, when a person goes away and does an Aveda, has to show them. When he does something wrong, so Chazal, the Torah, gives us the vision that it is like somebody who got lost in his path, and he has to return. He has to come back. It's like somebody who lives in his house, like his family, his father, and he gets lost, and then he found his way back to his house. So that's why it's called Hashivani. Return us. That's where we belong. That's our home. Ayid, as far as he could go, his home is Avinu, our father. He has a home. And therefore, our relationship with Torah, our relationship with Hashem, is a relationship of Kabiocho family. Just like a relative, a son, a daughter, husband, wife, they walk away, somehow they have to return, emotionally they have to return. They miss each other. And Chazal says that when the Yidin went into Golis, it was like, send him away, the children, they send the children away from the table of his father. And so, therefore, it's necessary, Hashiva, Hashivaini, return us, that's where we belong. So our relationship, primarily in, in the best way possible, is when he's talking about returning back to our home. And that's why Ovino le Soiro Sejo, the Torah is the bounding, the, 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 the Mishpocha maker. We put the family together, it's the Torah and the mitzvahs. So we return to him, that's where we belong. And then there is another level of Avaida, and it's the clear understanding of Hashem as a king. That's beyond the relationship of a family. That's because you have to follow the government. You have to follow the king. Because as he is the king, he has to be obeyed. And that applies not only to Klai Israel, it applies to the entire world. So the Karvaini, we have to be close it's not Hashuva, it's not like returning to your home, but it has to be close to the king because it's an avoider. You want to serve the king. So yes, I will say that it's a relationship of Ahava as a father and Yira as a king. To be afraid of Hashem as a king and to love Hashem as a father. We have to balance this relationship with Hashem all the time. As a father, and the Ahava with it, and as a king, and the Yira with it. And when we put that together, then the rest of the Shemaneser of the Brocha says, the Shiva Shalayma, return with a complete Shiva, a complete return. What is a complete Shiva? When you put together this Ahava of a father 
and this Yira of a Melech. That's Shuvah Shalema. So when we're doing Shuvah, we are returning, Ribbon Shalema, forgive me, you're my father. I love you like a father. And you love me like a son. And Ribbon Shalema, forgive me because you are the Melech. And you ask like a Evet before a Melech, a servant before the king. That's the most perfect Shiva when you have both together in a way that's Hashem. That I should help him, Hashem should help us, that we should be able to understand this relationship and balance them out. And when we return to Hashem, we understand the love and the fear that we have to have when we return to Him. Mm-hmm.